Okay, we've got the Tuttle Golf Trainer grip attachment in, uh, medium sized rod bent up, not 90 degrees, but not a million miles away from it. Now, dual purpose here. Uh, one of the main reasons I've used this drill here is really about someone's intent as to where the butt, the butt end of the club's traveling, the hands are traveling, club head, kind of trying to get everything arcing a little bit. So the visual here would be that if you were viewing this from above, the red ball would always travel in a small curve. Okay, so it's, if I go towards the camera this way, it's curving back and inward. So it's away from the ball target line gradually. It's not a straight line to there, it's curving around. Now, the same goes for the downswing. It's curving back around to its start position, then around then into a finish. So essentially, I'm trying to prevent this ball or reduce the odds of it going in a straight line at any point. I'm not looking for straight lines with this drill at all. So the visual is from above, have this ball curving constantly, slowly inwards coming back, curving back out towards the ball, not a straight line towards it, and then curving back through into the finish. Dual purpose would be that if this really hits the arm hard, you're flexing the wrist a ton. Nice little reminder there that you don't really want that for the majority of these shots. So it's really focused on the curve of that ball. Just popped up, you see this Bermuda sticking up, a little bit grainy. Um, strike was actually okay, didn't mind it too much. The intent was on this end of the club. So hopefully you understand that and it's something you can take forwards.